Tank in Bristol, Connecticut. See more better here with FreePrescriptionLenses.com. And tonight I'm going to cut anti prescription anti glare lenses for your Kazal 623. Actually, you got two pair. Let me see which one we got here. All right, this is the. Of course, they're both 623s, 302s. This is this actually color 301. It's the black and the gold, and we're gonna get your polarized lenses in there in just a moment. But this one is the one we're cutting tonight. This is the, if you can see that, the Kazal 623-302 color 11. It's a 57 eye size. Of course, let me pop that back in there. Of course, you're gonna get everything, all the Kazal accoutrements in both cases. You get the their storybook. It talks about all their all the legends spike lee everyone else who has worn them the kazal designers carl what is his name carl what zaloni and then uh you've got the card of authenticity you get a little book report everything in here everything comes with it every kazal legend comes with these all this information in every language possible but yeah, you're getting the real deal, the real thing, the guaranteed, the real McCoy. Of course, it comes with a little carrying bag that doubles as a cleaning cloth. Then you've also got the Kazal Legend cleaning cloth that comes with each one. And then, of course, this is the 623-302 color 11, the black and the red. So you asked to have the polarized lenses put into this one. When I ship them, you want the anti-glare lenses into this one. And then, of course, he's going to pop the original lenses in when he's wearing his contacts. So one pair of lenses will work on both frames. So let me begin. I'm going to pop out your original demo lens, one that says Kazal on it. And you're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging. I'm going to take your frame. By the way, beautiful, beautiful frame. There is very few frames made as nice as these. And of course, all the Kazals are made in Germany. These are the legends. Again, this is the model number 623, color 302. Excuse me, slash 302. The 623s come with clear lenses in them, but he wants to wear these original ones when he wears his contacts. So I said go with one of the sunglass frames. Even though he's ordering polarized sunglass lenses, these will be prescription polarized that he can pop into this frame or this frame. Um, the clear lenses I'm about to cut and I'm going to ship in this frame will fit into this frame and I'll show you in just a moment. And of course this is color 11, the black and the red, the 57 eye size. Because it's an old trick I've been doing, you can pop lenses into different frames as long as they're the same model, same size. So let me begin. I've already taken out the original demo lenses. I'm going to put this into the tracing element of my blocker. You were Secret Agent 1744. I program every job that I cut into the computer so that years from now should you ever need new lenses or different lenses. You want mirrored lenses. You want transition lenses. You want anything. I can make them happen. If you want clear lenses to wear when you got your contacts in, I can ship you those too. So I'm going to hit start. A little stylus is going to pop up and go around and trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame first before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy anyone, any genuine, authentic Kazal Legends frame and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number, so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed for this purchase, whether they're prescription or not. So that's the shape we'll be cutting. I'm going to move on to the next screen. Your pupillary distance for the right eye is 35. The computer starts at 32.5, so I'm going to tap the plus button a few times till we get to 35. I do want to raise the optical center up to about 27.5. Let me write that down. All right, so let's get your lenses started. Your right eye is a minus one sphere. That's got cylinder, so minus one sphere. Take the lens out of the protective packet. Put it in. Let's make sure everything's on zero. There we go. Put the power drum on minus one. Find the optical center of your lens. Put three dots on there. Actually, did I get on there? Hang on. I pulled out too fast. There we go. And this is going to be the right lens. 
Let's do the same thing now for the left lens. Minus 1, minus 50 at 175, minus 1, minus 50 at 175. And I should back up and say that I used to carry Kazals. I used to have a business partner. We parted ways. I did not have Kazals for a while. I am now slowly but surely getting them all up on my website. So I have these as clear lenses in there, which is what he was going to purchase. And then he called me and I told him, he told me what he wanted to do with them. I said, let me go with the sunglass lenses. The sunglass lenses typically are $20 more. I'm going to give you to them at the same price so you can do what you want to do. Your left eye, let me see, minus 1, minus 50 at 175, minus 1, minus 50 at 175. Put it in on the minus 1, rotate it until the spherical power comes into view first. Check your astigmatism correction, that looks good. Got some dots on the lenses here, 1, 2, and 3, and this is the left lens. Now if you guys missed any of that, say it with me, let me recap. <laughs> So, the reason why I put the dots on there, they have to be oriented and they're just right. At least your left lens does because you have astigmatism. You have none in the right. And it literally can rotate any which way in there until I hit the start button. But uh, this is a block, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting. So I'm going to take two double-sided adhesive stickers. Place that one on the first one. Throw that on the platform. The black side is the sticky side. We're going to stick that on there. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. On the back is a silver button that is a magnet. It's going to do its job twice. The first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm. Get everything lined up. The blue cross is the geometric center of your frame. Your eye is just above that and inset. Just want to make sure the lens is large enough and it is. And I hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right, which will be played by me. Because I ain't right either. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Do the same thing here. Same pupillary distance for the left eye. 35. Get everything lined up exactly as such. I don't have to change the pupillary distance. I don't have to change the optical center height. That stays the same. Make sure the lens is large enough. And it is. Hit that button. The arm's going to come down. Place the block onto the left lens. Now this is the edger. This is what's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. It costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter. Then you can cut your own kazals at home and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. The cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to act like a heavy grid sandpaper to grind away your lens material until it's the final size. It's going to go from this shape down to this. This wheel in the center is going to, that has that V-shaped bevel. That's what's going to put the, the knife-like edge on your lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. So now I'm going to, let me wake up the computer though. This is job number 1744. These are polycarbonate lenses. If they were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, I would select that, but we're going to stick with polycarbonate. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens because it's not going to be seen in this frame anyway. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens because it won't be protruding. But I will put one on the rear concave surface of the lens even though it's not going to protrude from your frame. I'll show you why I do that in just a moment. Let me go ahead and put the lens in. Press that on there firmly. Now the magnet's going to do a job a second time. It's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the chuck. Or as I like to call it, the Charles because I don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. That's right. Free bad jokes with every pair of glasses sold. Hit the start button. The door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced by two white styluses. Making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. You can see it is tracing the shape of the right lens. And then measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you really shouldn't have any in this frame. Now I do cut very strong prescriptions all day long for free. And that is a little bit more critical with the higher powers. And it's always a concern with some of the larger frames. The larger the frame, the, the propensity to have thicker lenses. Not always, but there's the chance of it. Now the light you see flickering in the background is water there to catch the optical sawdust. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, meaning that no water sprays onto the lens during the cutting cycle. Whereas plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex material 
has water spraying on the lens the whole time. Now water will spray onto this lens, but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away any optical debris that you may see beginning to form. As I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lenses, the same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. It's also the same lens material that OSHA requires that factory workers or anyone who does a hazardous job to protect their eyes. Now these are not safety glasses, but it's the same lens material. It also has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin, so you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes. Unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that need to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun there in Bristol, Connecticut. Now, if you notice the edge is flat like a nickel, if I were to take it out now, it would stand up on the counter. It's about to drop down on the bevel wheel and get the V-shaped bevel, the knife-like edge, if you will. Your lenses will be so sharp that if you were to take the lens out of the frame, you might be able to cut through a piece of wet tissue, providing you soak the tissue in a bucket of water all night and then lose, use all your strength, you might be able to cut through it. But these lenses do have the anti-glare coating, which is three features in one. The first feature is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. But from street lights, stop lights, computer screens, overhead, fluorescent lights, and such. The other thing, it goes by the initials ARC. It uh, stands for anti-reflective coating, so it reduces reflections. So if someone's looking at you, they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses, or if someone takes a picture with a flash, you won't see it lit up there. Of course, millennials love it because you won't see the reflection of the camera when you're taking selfies. Now, water has spraying on the lens. It tells me it's in the last 20 seconds. Out comes the lever. At the end of that lever is a spinning disc, which is a very fine grit sandpaper that's applying the safety bevel to the back surface, the concave surface of the lens, just to smooth out any rough edges left over from the cutting process. So in just a moment, I will open this door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. It just takes me a while, but I can do it. So, I'm going to dry everything off. Just got an email. Guy ordered some G15 lenses. I'll get them shipped. So, here's what you're going to do. So, let's start over again. You've got the sunglass lenses in here that come with it when you're wearing your contacts. Put it in at the outside edge using your thumbs. Push down the centers. It snaps in to take the lenses out. Turn the frame around and with your thumb at the nose, of course I'm grabbing it by the other side so it doesn't fall out. I place my other thumb on top, push downward, out comes your sunglass lenses for when you're wearing your contacts. When you want to wear the prescription lenses, put those down. You can carry them in the case, in the pouch. Take the lens, tuck it in at the outside corner first. Using the thumbs, push down the nose, it snaps right in. Let's go ahead and... Take the block off, dry that off, add to my sticker collection. We're going to start cutting the left lens. We're going to flip that over to L, line up the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or tonight I'm calling it the tank. Hit the green arrow, which is start in every language. The door closes, the clamp shuts. The lens is going to be, again, traced by two white styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame. And you can see as this go around tracing the shape of the left lens. And just like before, it's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness shown. And of course, as promised, you got no edge thickness. For one, look how thick this frame is. You're not going to have any edge thickness, especially with that. So we're going to come down here to the lensometer, put it in over this black dot that's there. Let me dry everything off here so you can see that black dot right there. We're going to put it in, read the power, and I am getting minus one, exactly halfway between zero and two in the red, that the red or the minuses. That's because you are nearsighted. You need four steps of farsighted correction to see far away. 
with your glasses off, everything is much too large. So these lenses will minify. That's why there's a minus sign. Now you have no astigmatism correction in the right eye. You do in the left. You have the same amount of farsighted correction in the left eye, but you have two steps of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike or the letters P and F. So you have two curves. You have a farsighted curve and an astigmatic curve. That's how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp. And we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 175 on the left eye. So, this first number magnifies, or actually in your case, it minifies. And then this is the fine tune knob. So we're going to turn that fine tune knob to 175. Now this frame, I gave it to you at the regular price. The 623 with clear lenses that come that way is sells for $399. The sunglass lenses is $20 more for these, but since you bought two pair, I told you I would give them to you at, uh, at the clear lens price at $3.99 each. Of course, no charge, three prescription lenses when you buy the frame, and you paid uh, $44.99 to upgrade to my house anti-glare for a total of $4.43.99. This frame, which I'll be cutting the polarized lenses for, again, normally sells for $4.19, but you're going to get it for $3.99.99. .99. Your sun, the polarized lenses are $119.99. But again, so you can take, just as I should, I popped that one out. You can take the lens out of this frame, this color, tuck it in at the outside corner first, using your thumbs, press down the nose, it snaps right in. So now you've got your prescription lenses and this frame. We take that out. And again, you're going to have your polarized lenses that you can put into this frame or this frame once they're cut, since they are the same size. The only difference is the color. Let me do that again. So you tuck the lens in. I have the side I'm working on closest to me, elbows touching my side, arms bent at a right angle. Tuck the lens in at the outside corner first, using your thumbs, press down the nose, and then right there it snaps right in. Just like before, elbows touching my sides, arms bent at a right angle, tuck it in at the outside corner, press down the nose first, right there, it snaps right in. Let's go ahead and take the left lens out, dry everything off, come down here, now I'm going to rotate it around, I'm not going to try and work over this, rotate it close to me, get any optical sawdust off, and the reason why I put the safety bevel on the back surface of the lens so that there's any rough edges. In case this were too large to fit, if I go to tuck it in, I don't want any sharp edges from the, from the edge of the lens to come in contact with the frame as I'm pushing it in. Have utmost respect for the frames. Quality first, safety first. Again, you tuck it in on the outside, push down the nose, it snaps right in. Let's go ahead and take the block off, and dry this off, throw that back in there, add this to my sticker collection come down here well for one let me put another dot on there because I'm going to have to measure when I was sitting there playing around with it it came off make sure that is the center all right we got the dot back on there we're going to put it in over this dot axis wheel should still be at 175 175 let's check the power I'm getting minus one Minus one, you have two steps of astigmatism correction for the left eye. The second curve we're going to check. We end up at minus 150, exactly halfway between one and two. So that is cut perfectly. Pupillary distance is 35 for each eye for a total of 70. We're going to turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb on the right lens. And then when we measure on the left lens, we're getting 70 millimeters. So that is cut perfectly. Let me check the optical center height. 27 and a half when you look at the very bottom of the middle of the bottom of the frame 27 and a half so that's cut perfectly so this is the portion of every video that as I clean your lenses I mentioned that when when you get these in the mail well by the way every purchase from me is tax free and includes free shipping the reason why I point out that it's always been tax free and always has free shipping but now the internet people who buy on the internet have to pay tax I'm based out of North Carolina. North Carolina considers prescription glasses a medical device, which it is. They do not charge tax on medical devices. So the fact that this normally, of course, where else can you buy a Kazao 623 Legend 
with prescription lenses for $443.99. Most people charge more than that for just the frame. That's why he came to me. But let's just say it's $443.99 times 8%. Anywhere else you'd go, you'd have to pay $35.51, actually $52, rounded up in tax. You do not have to pay that for me because every purchase is tax free. And as I mentioned, there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S. and Bristol, Connecticut is still in the U.S. But when you get these in the mail, there's a small chance that these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no different. I'm part of that 80% and I'll show you in just a moment. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them. But I'm going to get them in standard alignment first. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly. So stop by your local place or your doctor's office where you had the exam and just tell them if it's too loose or too tight. They'll know what to do. But again, in order to get these in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance, the three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. When I say wobble, as I said, I'm part of the 80%. When I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. For those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing the Versace 3245. I can't see what color it is with my glasses off. It's the blue tortoise with the platinum temples. I'm all about some blue. You see me wearing a lot of blue. It's even got the blue temple tips. It's got the Medusa on each temple. I've got plenty of Versace's. I don't have them all listed on the website. If there's any Versace frame you want, just hit me up. I'll reply back with price and availability. Let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing, yo. Flip these over. Press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly and they do the neither temple is askew like that again i am slowly but surely getting all the kazao legends on the website so until i do if there is a kazao that you want now that i'm back being an authorized dealer i'm back baby i'm back you can't take this away from me i'm coming at you coming at you strong so i'm already the number one ray-ban account in north carolina i'm slowly becoming the number one oakley dealer in north carolina and kazao I'm coming after you. I want I want to be your number one dealer too. So, but uh, but thanks for watching. If uh, if you like what you're seeing, you want to see more Kazal videos, Oakley, Ray Ban, Versace, Polo, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram is FreePrescriptionLenses.com. If you have any, or on Twitter is FreeRxLenses. If you have any questions um, you need to ask me, you can email me directly at freeprescriptionlenses at gmail.com or simply click the contact me button on the website. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. I'll get back to that. But again, Tank in Bristol, Connecticut, thank you so much for the purchase of the two Kazal Legends 623. This is the 301. This is the 302. All of them come. There's even a crystal and the clear and there's even a tortoise brown I believe in this one but again you can pop as you have seen you can pop your lenses the clear lenses out the prescription lenses put them in this frame you I'm cutting it's gonna take me another day or two but I'll cut polarized lenses for this frame you can take them out of here put them in this color if you ever want uh, of course when you're wearing your contacts you can put the sunglass lenses back in there if you ever want transition lenses I can do that for you if you ever want transitions extra active with one of the mirror coatings that come in silver gold green blue red or pink i can do that for you anything you want i can make it happen so again tank in bristol connecticut thank you so much for the purchase of the two kazao legends and now everyone else by now has gotten a chance to see how i bring that loving feeling back to glasses thank you <laughs>